So Suicide Squad is here, guys. Is it good? No. Is it fun? No. Is there any redeeming factors about Suicide Squad? No. Has David Ayer written a bad script? Yes. Is he a director that's done some alright stuff before? Yes. But is this, is this one of his alright ones? No. Suicide Squad is not fun. It is a mess. A really, really bad mess. It's like someone came along, and with the, with the soundtrack of this movie, it's like someone was like, oh, hey, I made a party playlist. Let's put it in this movie. You have like Kanye West and some other rock bands and the credits one is 21 Pilots and that's... It's just music like Skrillex is in this with Rick Ross and there's all this, it's just a playlist that seems like this person had, yes, had a party playlist and they're like, let's put it in this movie. People, people that are in it, people that are, people that are in it, pronounce names, it's pronounced Killer Croc. Killer Croc played by, let's pronounce his name right, um, I'm gonna pronounce it completely wrong. Adewale Akio um, Abaja. I th that's, that's, he, he's, he's alright as Killer Croc. He's, he's alright as Killer Croc. Um, then we got Jay Hernandez as Diablo. The story of his is so underdeveloped, and Jay Courtney doesn't come and fuck up this time. Like Jay Courtney, Terminator Genesis, a good day to the hard. You like you fucked it up, mate. He's the he's the sort of all right thing you like. You're writing this, mate. Maybe you should just play this character all the time. He's like Australian, in it, and it's it's all right. And you got Viola Davis as uh, Amanda Waller, and uh, you know this is as big as badass characters everyone was hoping her to be. Will Smith is. It's tries as Deadshot, Jaroletto as the Joker. Fuck me. Um, if you're gonna do this thing where you push out this character so much and put it on advertising and for everything, and everyone's like, "Hey, the Joker's gonna be so much in the film," then fuck you, make him be in the film. They had this whole thing where he's in that purple suit with like the purple tracksuit bottoms. That's just not, that's just not in the movie. Um, and he's about four minutes. Seven, Four minutes to seven minutes in the movie, um, very underused. Angelo Leo is just, I don't know what he was doing with his character. Um, here's his laugh, my best impression of it. Sounds like an old man laughing. It's fucking horrible to hear. He does it in so many scenes, it's so pointless. That whole scene where he's laying and the knife's around him, that laugh doesn't make any sense to that scene. Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, fucking hell, I like Margot Robbie, I think she is a great actress, she's only 23 I think, and it's crazy you know, the amount of good stuff she's been in now, um, but Harley Quinn, I had so much hope for this character, I thought she was going to be awesome, this is not the Harley Quinn that I want, now they do a little scene where they do this whole throwback to the original Harley Quinn cost costume, and it's a front cover from one of the old Batman, um, comics, and I, I loved that about it, that, that part, that's the one thing I was like, hey, it's a throwback, that's cool, and then they just rip it away, and they have her wear the little daddy's monster um, top, where she also has a little daddy's monster tattoo on here, they have her put the pudding thing around her neck, because that's what she calls the Joker, the fucking top doesn't make sense, because she's had this whole abusive relationship with her dad before, and it's like, that's in the comics, we know that, so it's fucked up, and if you call the Joker and Harley Quinn relationship goals, then you're fucked. You're completely, absolutely fucked. Suicide Squad is not a fun time. It's not a fun time, it's not a good time. It starts off and you're like, this, this, this is alright, and then all of a sudden it does this whole origin thing where all the tiles come up and it's all colourful and tries to be funny, but it's like, you're trying to be really serious at the same time, and then the playlist happens and it's fucking the Hot Topic movie, everyone's calling it, and then you have this thing that is shoehorned in, just... So it's like that fucking pushed in, push it, it's fucking forced in, there's a whole thing to fit in the DC Extended Universe, and it just, it's just like, why is this, why is this happening, and then you have this mid credit scene, it's just like, we're not even really excited, because we know what's happening now. Shoehorn's in that whole thing with the origin story, like, they shoe on in two characters, um, and it's so out of place, so, Suicide Squad, Gets a 1 out of 5 from me. Boring, not fun, not good, just bland. And Mar Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, the, the, just the line she says is so cringy to listen to. It's horrible, the script is horrible. It's got this 15 rating, but there's scenes where they have to do all this colour, this weird colour stuff, and the Joker like shoots someone at one point, 
and like you don't see it happen. It sort of just goes away from it. And um, Common does a cameo in this. Makes no sense the way it does it. They try and do a backstory to the Killing Joke as well, um, but it's bad. It's, they do a reference to Killing Joke, and it's just bad. And I fucking hate this movie. It's not the worst movie like everyone has said. It's not the worst movie ever, but it's not good. And the Joker's not good, and Jared Leto is the Joker. I'd like to maybe see it a bit more. He's sort of good, but it's also pretty cringy as well. Suicide Squad is a cringe fest. Don't see Suicide Squad. Batman v Superman was a tiny bit better than this. Didn't think I'd say that. So if you've seen Suicide Squad, say in the comments down below if you enjoyed it and all that shit. Um, and yeah, let's talk about it. Uh, <laughs> I was so excited. I was someone that was so excited for this. I was so excited. And I'm just really, really let down. So that's all for today. Thank you very much. I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.